Welcome back to Amnesia, the Great Walk Part 3. And we are now in the, what was it, some sort of private library, I think. Library. Getting knowledge. Oh, hello there. This library is apparently haunted by naked angel statues. Hmm, interesting. I wonder why. Uh, yeah, this... Was this the library? It's some sort of private thing. I had a library or mansion. Can't quite remember anymore. Oh boy, my oil is so low. Right, so, um, what are we searching for in here? It's a little bit strange, you know. You get invited by in someone's uh, library or house, or whatever it is. And then he doesn't even greet you, he's just, you know, find the key to a door and then eventually you find me. The Hardlip Circle. At its nexus, it was an association of personal friends, Hardlip and Dury, but the two key figures, Gumenius, despite their best efforts, always remained the cause they were supporting rather than a fellow coordinator. Around them were Hubner, Hag, Pell, Morian, Rulis, Hotten and Apelius. Later to be joined by Sadler, Kulpepa, Worsley, Boyle and Claudius. But as soon as one of any further than this form from the center, the lines of communication began to branch and cross, threading their way into the entire intellectual community of Europe and America. It is a circle within a definable center, but an almost in infinitely expendable periphery. Right. But it's an evil circle, so... I'm sure to be... That you should be proud of that. <laughs> Whispering boys. <gasps> oil. I need more than that. I need heaps and loads of oil. You know, to be satisfied. With my oil greed. Oh well. Yeah, okay, this is the other side of that place. So yeah, you enter someone's library, yeah, invited to somebody's library or mansion, and then he's like, well, good luck finding the key to some locked doors, and then eventually you find me. Hartlip's death. Hartlip died in 1662 in poverty. Close friends reported that he had lost his pension and severed contacts with many correspondents uh, as the restoration began. By the end of his life, the Hartlip circle was dissolved, and he was living in a seclusion. Though his official date of death on the 10th of March... Others have suggested a later date. No official funeral was held, nor was a body buried. As Hardlip never married and had no children, his property went up for auction and bought by a private investor. Oh. <clears throat> I wonder for how much money he bought this mansion oh, of Hardlip. Oh, perhaps there's something behind the painting I haven't looked yet. Mm, no. Sometimes, you know. It's always good to look behind paintings, you know. Or else you might miss a key there and then you're <laughs> searching around forever and ever. Oh, the books fell. Somebody tried to build a younger tower out of books there. Apparently, he was very bored. <laughs> Oh boy, um, is there really nothing? Oh, there's no book. The Great Walk. Geber had noted as one of the first alchemists to theorize the possible possibility of metal transmutation. His complete work, the 112 books, have served as a guide for many notable alchemists past and present. Among them is outlined the description of the Philosopher's Stone, believed to be the catalyst for completing the Great Walk. The work itself composes the three main goals of modern alchemy. That is the transmutation of lead into gold, the creation of living homunculus, and attachment of attainment of immortality. You know, if you transmutate lead into gold, the gold value would eventually drop because you know if there is still a high influx of gold, the value would drop. So it's kind of counterintuitive to want to you know create gold out of nothing or less valuable metal because. 
that would just only decrease its value. Ooh, something went dark here. I hate windy boys always putting off, put, uh, blowing out the candle. There's the key. Okay. Samuel 1700. 18 November 1700. It pays me to seal the clock so soon after its completion. But I had no choice. I thought I escaped from the college, but I should have known it was only a matter of time until they found me. I was forced to use all of my archives to fight off the monsters, searing their flesh, leaving none left to carry out my plan. I knew the monsters would return to break into the vault below, so I had no choice but to seal it. I also dressed one of the dead monsters in my claws and hacked it into pieces. It may not be enough to fool them, but there is little else I can do. Even if by chance they break through my barriers, I thankfully, thankfully have other means to, of defense. My guardians are not all powerful, but they should slow the monster's progress. Samuel. He is one hunted man. He's a hunted boy. Uh. Someone try something try has tried to break it, but failed miserably. Mwah. So this is the key to the rap book section. Hmm. Interesting. So where is this rap book section? I knew there was one. A locked door here. Maybe this one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ah, yeah, I see. It's easy peasy. Er, uh, okay, it's still too heavy. All the books have to fuck off. <laughs> they have so many copies of the Flansenreich. Why would they have that? And so many copies also of this... What was it? Vegetal book. <laughs> like... You, I will order some books. I will order 100 copies of the same book. Genius. E. Come. One more. Yay. No, why not? Of course, I have to throw something. Eh, no. <laughs> I don't think a book can. Uh, find a chair. No, there's no chair in here. Uh, yeah, I think there was a chair here. No. I was wrong. There you are. But if this will work, it will be quite peculiar because why would a why would a wooden chair be uh, capable of uh, you know breaking down this wall, whereas just a hammer and chipper made of metal and have a precise striking force cannot? Hmm? Tell me that why. The long clock. With the help of the great engineers of the circle, my greatest creation has been realized. I have built a clock that ticks but once a year. The first dial advances at midnight on December th uh, 31st. Second dial advances in the beginning of the new century. This clock will keep time accurately for the next 10,000 years. I have built it not to record what regular people perceive as time, but what the universe perceives. Deep time. This clock will continue to tick after I have died. After my family has disappeared from existence and civilizations have risen and fallen. Buried beneath the library, the gears have been crafted from the finest metals to resist corrosion over the centuries. The steam system is pressurized by the weights of the drivers, which must be wound uh, for the clock to display the proper time. When the drivers are raised, the clock is wound, uh, wound and the gears will be will adjust the clock to display the current year, regardless of how long it has been unwound. Samuel Hartley. But this is, is the, okay, this is the clock. Ah, so it is 1828. Why is that the sign of uh, medicines right there? Why do you put a sign of medicines on the clock? The clock. C-L-O-C-C. -C. 
Oh yeah, Jericho Times here. Somebody locked me in. That's not good. And now I'm stuck. E. And then suddenly, voila, you have a, <laughs> a corridor. Magic. He could sense that he was getting closer to the truth day by day. He kept his colleagues at arm's length, knowing he could never tell them the truth. Knowing that one day he may have to leave the circle to protect his discovery, or perhaps to protect them from it. Interesting picture here. Right. Oh yeah. Angelico times. Oh! He came from there. <laughs> uh. Uh, okay, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Ow, come on. Thank you very much. Where the fuck is it? Alright, so there's oil for this good man. Ah well, I don't... I don't think he can get me here. He's stuck there, so... Or There's one there. I didn't know that. <laughs> nope. Yay, yeah, there. Right, so I have to get there by means of jumping. Like that. A little bit of fire here, I think. Would be the best. There we are. That sucks. It's like he always takes damage when he falls. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah, hello there. You will disappear, won't you not? Oh, I thought you would disappear. <gasps> One from the tinderbox for a whole big chest. Wow. Oh, I got one tinderbox out of a big chest. Like, it's the most... Ah, oh, there's a... And one laudanum in another big chest. It's not like he could. they put a laudanum and a tinderbox in the same chest. No, they have to have one large box for one small laudanum and one small tinderbox. Oh yeah, look at this. It's magic. Ah, I thought I never met them. Uh, ah, yeah. Good. That feels good. Alright, so this is kind of timed, I think. Run. There we are. Oh! I didn't know you were close. <laughs> Clock work. The vacant mansion in Dartmouth was perfect for that purpose. It sat on a plot of land just outside the main city, peace once secluded. The empty shelves would be more than enough to re relocate Morian's personal library, and the large cellar could easily be renovated into a laboratory. Oh, yeah, I know this. Look at that! Magnificence. Only annoying thing is that you have to wind it all the time. <laughs> Alright, let, let's just go to the laboratory. Hartlip's hand froze in mid stroke, gripping the quill tightly. He crumpled up this unfinished letter and threw it aside. The Hartlip circle had been recreate had been created to gather all of the world's knowledge and made make it available to, for all mankind, but they weren't yet ready to something. 
creepiness. Oh boy, I can move this. <laughs> There. Oh, magic! Hello there. Samuel 6062. 16th of May 6062. Though the shard is merely broken, um, a broken object now, with intense concentration and repeated practice, I've been able to draw out a great deal of its power. I've finally been able to create what I believe to be the fifth element, karma. It uses a a widely fire it uses a widely fired incredible when mixed with heated acids their corrosiveness increases many times fold and very close to, to creating the legendary solvent a true alkahest uh, I've also been experimenting with other compound of karma that gives incredible life extending properties my roses that have been grown with it have not wilted for many many years I wonder what effect it would have on humans my biggest regret is that Johan is not here to see it this day. I am finally succeeding where the two of us failed so long ago. Samuel Hardlip. Okay, so I have to take a sip. Ah. Right, so um, there's no more karma left to use. Ah, feels bad, man. Right, um. You have to get something out of this place. It's a rose, yeah, that's for sure. Okay, there's nothing else, only Pflanzenreich. And then here, something else. <laughs> it's just a. Uh, drops of oil. Ah, oh, well, that's all right. So I got the rose. Is there something else I need? Or is it just the rose? So do I need this? Do I have to? Uh, wait, perhaps I have to. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Have to use this. For the rose, put the aqua regia here because that's a why not? Yeah, you want the chemistry pot in here? Oh, I didn't know you had to do the chemistry pot. Yeah, I want the chair there. Carbons. Oh yeah, I have to. Uh, okay. Then. Perhaps I have to. Yeah, I will do it when I'm done. Perhaps I have to combine the carmon, uh, carmot with the aqua regia. Hmm, I wouldn't like having to climb one of these. If you lose grip, you will fall to your death, basically. That's well, not fun. <laughs> no? But... Oh, oh, right then. The driver is fully wound. Okay. I thought you had to combine, but apparently not. Do I need something with this? Stuck. I guess not. Alright, so I... Th but... Uh, yeah, this car mod was... Could be used to increase the uh, strength of... Uh, assets, right? So why doesn't it work? Top 10 questions science can still answer. Oh. I guess I'll just continue here to the clock. As Hardlip concentrated on the stone, he suddenly became aware of, his, of the universe. Information poured into his mind and back out again. Morion caught up 
as he stumbled under the weight of everything. Harlip hesitated momentarily before allowing himself to become the locus of all knowledge. He was ascended. Hmm. See. So what is he then? The E driver. A portion of the East Wing had collapsed, and the burns of Morion's hands would take some time to you. When Morian asked him what happened, Hartlip hesitated to tell him about the distant roar he had heard just after he had touched the stone. Ah, uh, well, I just touched the stone and I hear the roar in the distance. Oh, okay, perhaps you have to go to a psychiatrist. I mean, <laughs> no, just kidding. Right, um. I bet you put some acid in there. What do you mean it's not potential enough? I feel betrayed. Do you need to wind this up? No, I don't think so. Huh. Come on. Oh. Oh, interesting. But I can't climb this. No, it seems that I can't. I hope I didn't glitch out this lock here by doing that. Eh, uh, well, whatever. What had happened was not an accident. There was a will governing the stone, and that was why it had reacted so violently to Marion's touch, but not his. Halep wondered if they had for however short moment caught God's attention. Perhaps. Alright then. There we are. Shouldn't this be... Oh, they do move. <laughs> I thought for a moment they didn't move. Hey, that's not nice. I kind of forgot what to do. These things have to move, that's for sure. But, uh, how do you do that? It's like a jumping platform thingy. Um, yeah, good question. But I, I was sure you had to do something with the E-Driver. I'm 100% sure of that. Come on. That one is stuck. Okay, you don't need to jump. Alright, then I didn't know that. Come on, I know. But I'm sure it has to do with this. Why don't you just walk? Karmot. Um, help. <laughs> Grr. As Harlev concentrated on the stone, he suddenly became aware of the universe. It, uh, I already thought. Perhaps I have to go a little bit back, because I'm sure that the whole thing down there has to move in order to get to the other side. Like. These things have to move in order to get there. I'm sure of that. Okay, 
Okay, so I guess I have to also do the West Driver then. But eventually, you also have to go in one of those locked. Uh, what is it? You have to remove the padlock as far as I'm concerned. Eventually. Okay, so that one is stuck. Can't move these. Right, so kind of forgot what to do now. God damn it. Why can't I just combine those two? I thought I had to combine the Aqua Regia and the Karmoth. Perhaps I just completely forgot it here. Right, so there we are. Ah, yeah, here I guess. F completely forget that. Feels bad, man. All cast. Now I can. Yeah, I knew that. Hello there. Wow! <laughs> Are you right, the angel statue? Fuck. <laughs> Just boop! <laughs> Come on, you can do it! Break the door! Yes! Break it! No. How long does it take for you to break that goddamn door? Do I actually have to help you? Holy shit! There you are. Hello there. Let's see if he wants to walk on top of me. Doesn't he see me? I'm here! Hello there. Angel statue that suddenly appears and disappears. Oh, well, I guess he doesn't see me. <laughs> How to go down the ladder quickly in Amnesia. I like that right there. Oh boy. Okay. So now I can go there, right? I have the Alkahest. I wish I could. Burn down the padlock. <laughs> Come on. Right, so here we are. Okay, has bye bye, stupid ass padlock. I've been a pain in the ears. Oh, there you have her again. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I guess they all have to be down. No. I know that. So I'm trying to figure out. Let me guess. This one. This one. This one. Poof, she's gone. Magic. Right, so now it's moving and now I can actually go to the door. Fake it, magic. Oh, I already. I already I think Dartmouth is a very beautiful place and area. I haven't been there myself though, but... I'm not sure where exactly Dartmouth is. I 
if I would guess it would be around um, I would say uh, Cornwall I won't wait <laughs> I need to wait for a thing to come So I'll just this jump and voila. The faults. Come on. Okay then, so yeah. What we find in the vault, we will see that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.